Yo, what's up guys? Back with another video. We're here to talk about three valuable things today. The new team, the fifth team, playoff picture, and the rules. Today we will be starting with the fifth team. Ava Noel, great captain. She's been a captain before here in this league. Then we switched to two. Now we're back to five. She's a great captain. She led her team to second place in the division that one year. So yeah. Ava Noel, Evan Lorenzo, Timmy O'Brien, Josh Camadine. That's an away team here. That That's just great. You can't mess with that team. They're a great fifth addition here. So playoff picture. The fifth and fourth team will be playing. Loser is done. The f second and third team will be playing. And then loser is done. So those two, and then the one team gets a bye. And then whoever wins the second and third seed game will play the one seed and then whoever wins the four and five game will be in the world so pretty much this is how it will work you got four and five losers gone second and three losers gone first if you're the first seed you get to buy so after those two games whoever wins the second and third seed and the um second and third seed and the fourth and fifth seed the fourth, whoever wins at the fourth and fifth team will play the one seed to make it to the World Series. The two, whoever wins two and three series will make it to the World Series after that series, but the four and five, since you guys are in dead last, you guys have to make it through two rounds to get there. You play each other and then you play the one seed. So four and five has two rounds, second and three has one. So pretty much, that's how it's gonna work this year. So you want, it's not good to be five or four. You wanna be top three this year. Whoever is five or four, I feel bad for you. But if you are five or four and you make it to the World Series this year, we're just gonna give you a trophy just for making it that far. That's pretty good. I'm telling you. And there's a fourth thing I wanna go over, projections. We had a projectory on our fans voting on what the standings would be. <clears throat> now we're going to go over some rules. The first rule this year, there's pegging allowed. You all know how wiffle ball works. 10 to 15 miles per hour. That's what you want to stay in between. You can go lower. Three, you get three warnings. On the fourth one, you can't pitch the rest of the series. First two pitchers that pitch have to pitch at least two innings. If you're not more than if you're more than halfway to home and they hit the net or the strike zone, you're out. Three fielders in the field, including the pitcher, two outs per inning. Ground rule doubles through the fence are on the ground through the fence. Five run limit per inning. If you hit by a pitch, it will be counted as a ball. Pinch runners are allowed, but the pinch runners cannot start the game. They have to start on the bench. You can throw the ball at the ground and hit someone off the ground as a peg, you're out. Batting out of order is an automatic out, no warnings. Throwing bat on hit, one warning, then it's an out. Intentional walks are allowed, pickoffs are allowed. If Rob's feet have to stay in like NFL, you gotta like keep your feet in. You can go out of the fence, but you just have to, as you catch the ball, you have to have possession with both feet inside the fence. Um, third inning, you got unlimited runs, no stealing, one-step leads, two strikes fouled into the zone is an out on the third strike, pinch running allowed but player can't start the game, pitchers who get taken out can't come back in, but that is only for the game, not the series. So, and then we're going to go over projectories. So pretty much, in fifth place projected, was your downtown, di I mean, your Diamondbacks, Western D-backs. So pretty much the Western D-backs is led by Mason Haber. Um, they got Ace, John, Matiski. That's a great team. I don't know why they're in last. But, you know, their pitching is not going to be the strongest. Their hitting is the, probably the best in the league. Their pitching, they only have Mason, Gokies, not the best but he can get the job done when he needs to projected in fourth you got your blue Sox. they're just coming into the league you got a couple newbies um 
even though, well, great captain, you know, he was a great captain. They got Josh, who's going to be at camp a lot. He has a camp up at a lake, and so does Ava. Um, who knows when they're going to be able to play even, projected fourth place. It's a good team, Ava, Evan, all of them, Timmy, great pitchers. Hitting, not so much. It's either strikeout or home run for that team. Um, they don't, don't get hits a lot. It's either a home run or a strikeout. Um, in third place, you got the um, Western Rawhide. The Rawhide. Let me tell you, Trevor Gold. <clears throat> Let me tell you, Trevor Gold just stepping in as manager. He has never touched the field. New manager. He's got one, maybe two new players. He's got him, Reitzel. Reitzel hasn't touched the field either. Tyler Pifar, he hasn't touched the field. They've got three kids that have never touched that field. And they got Gabe Neri. All Their whole team has never touched that field out there. Neri has never played a game here. He's practiced with our team and sometimes with his team and Bobby Noel is the manager, but he stepped out coming to my team. Projected in second place, you got the Bears, the Washington Bears. Let's talk about him. Alex Therian, great manager. Let me say that. Alex is, he strikes out a lot, but when he doesn't strike out, that ball could be like 100 feet over the fence. This kid hits bombs. Now let's talk about Jermaine. Great pitcher. They got a great pitching team. Great hitting. Those two are going to carry that team. They have Ronan Johnson and Will McPhee. Let me tell you, Johnson, not the best hitter. He's great at baseball. It's just that he needs to get used to slower pitching. Um, not the best. Johnson, pretty, really good at pitching. Not the best at hitting. Same with McPhee. McPhee can hit and pitch. McPhee, he'll just swing out a pitch out of the zone. He, he just learned the rules. Let him get in. The Cobras, my team, projected first, led by me. You got. My secondary pitcher is going to be Bobby Noel. You hear it? breaking news, Bobby over Rowan. My, uh, it's going to, my pitching rotation stacked this year. Me, Bobby, Rowan, and Kent. Carter is probably not going to start. He'll probably start one out of the three games, but he will be a pinch hitter in one of maybe two of those games. So, yeah, Carter probably not going to start most games. If he does start... It'll probably be game two or three, not never game one. He can pitch hit in the games he doesn't start, which I'm going to do. But my team's stacked in the field, pitching-wise, hitting, everything. So, yeah, right now we're in first, projected. We're in first, Bears in second, Rawhide in third, Blue Sox fourth, and um, D-backs fifth. Which, after the MLW season, you never think you'd hear the D-backs in last. But now, this year, for our league, D-backs are projected in last. Thank you guys for watching. Go to my Instagram, Wiffleball of Zero, and check out the schedule and the rules are posted on there. Go to Wiffleball of Zero on the TikTok, follow. And then, Wiffleball is capital NY on YouTube. Go subscribe, like the videos. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.